क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in this video we are going to study the motion of an electron that is injected at an angle theta to a electric field and this electric field is a uniform electric field Let us first of all study this with the help of a diagram as to how the velocity components of an electron are bifurcated in comparison to that of an electric field here is the diagram so we have the electric field that is established between two plates this is the positive plate and this is the negative plate this is the direction of the electric field and this is the electron that is injected at an angle theta to the electric field so when i'm saying that to the electric field i'm actually drawing uh, the electron is injected at an angle theta and this angle theta i'm measuring with respect to the tangent to the at any particular point to the orbit that the electron will later on trace out so at the, when the minute it is entering the electric field we have the velocity component which is v of x0 making an angle theta 0 and the y component which is there which is perpendicular to the vx0 so i am resolving this velocity over here the velocity which is there is being resolved into two components which is there there is v of x0 yeah and v of y0 v of x0 can now be written as vx0 is equal to v0 into cos of theta 0 and the y component the initial y component is equal to v0 into sin of theta 0 so to, to start with these are the two components that are present next what we do is we try to find out with the help of this expressions what is the acceleration of the electron the acceleration of the electron will take place in the y direction this is because of the presence of the electric field and due to this this component vx0 will remain unaltered right up till the end but the velocity component in the y direction will slowly go on decreasing because it will experience a deaccelerating force and at one end it will deaccelerate to such an extent that the v of y0 component will totally disappear let us call this particular instant this distance as the maximum height beyond this particular point it will so happen that the velocity component y will appear in the in the direction opposite to the electric field that is in this direction because the electron is a negatively charged particle and this will go on increasing the instant at which the electric field is being left by the electron or the electron leaves this electric field at that particular point we it will have two components v of x0 and it will have also the component v of y0 which is almost the same as it will have when it will enter this field but only thing is it will be in the opposite direction so now first of all let us calculate the acceleration the acceleration will be equal to your ay is actually equal to this will be equal to the force which is acting on it is equal to e into m right e into e upon m so this is going to be your acceleration in the y direction there is going to be no acceleration in the x direction next after doing this we now have the velocities in the x direction as well as the y direction let us now try to find out what is going to be the relationship between the distance that is traversed so the distance that is traversed in the y direction that is y will be equal to 
once again using the kinematical expression y is equal to ut plus half at square so ut so the u is nothing but the y component of the velocity the initial y component of the velocity that is going to be equal to v0 into sine of theta 0 multiplied by ut that is t and minus of half of at square that is acceleration into a into the t square which is there a into t square similarly in order to find out what is the time period what we will do is we will actually write down what is the expression for the displacement in the x direction in order to find out the expression for the displacement in the x direction this will be equal to x is equal to v0 into cos of theta 0 into t so from this we have an alternative expression for the time period which is going to be equal to x upon v0 into cos of theta 0 let us call this expression as 1 and let us call this expression as 2 and let us substitute 2 in this particular expression 1 and that will give you the displacement in the y direction as y is equal to i'm substituting for t over here v0 will get cancelled and this term will turn out to be tan of theta 0 into x minus of half into a into t square therefore that will be equal to x upon v0 into cos of theta 0 the whole square if you can see this is nothing but the equation of a parabola if you can see from here this is nothing but the expression of the parabola so one can say that the trajectory of an electron which is inserted at an angle theta in a uniform electric field is actually of a parabola the next thing which we do is we find out the expression for the height and we also find out the expression for the range which is there so this is going to be your range and this is going to be the maximum height we have to compare this case with that of projectile motion only thing is over there we have the gravitational field in the projectile but over here we have the electric field there is one more difference between the two instances we can actually change the electric field in our case but we cannot change the gravitational field so far so good so now let us move on to the next step of finding out the maximum displacement that is h that is the height in the y direction so for finding out the displacement we have to make use of the formula that v square which is the final velocity is equal to u square minus of 2a into s s is nothing but the height and here i'm meaning the velocity in the y direction the initial velocity in this case is not zero but rather this is going to be equal to v0 into sine of theta 0 the final velocity at the topmost point is going to be equal to zero the final velocity in the y direction minus of 2 a and h is nothing but the height and therefore your height h is going to be equal to v0 into sine of theta 0 divided by 2a so this is going to be the expression for the maximum height that the electron will traverse so h is equal to the height is going to be equal to v0 into sine of theta 0 the height is going to be equal to v0 into sine of theta 0 into 2a we now wish to find out what is the time taken to attain this particular height and in order to find that out we have to use the expression v is equal to u plus a into t wherein the final velocity is going to be equal to 0 and 
I mean the velocities in the y direction. Your u of y, which is the initial velocity, is sine of theta 0 plus acceleration a into the time. So the time t is going to be equal to v0 sine of theta 0 divided by the acceleration. Let us say that we are labeling these expressions as expression 3 and we are labeling this as expression 4. But this is the time that is taken by it to attain the middle part. So the total time that is taken will actually be equal to, so from here to here this is going to be t and once again from here to here this is going to be t. Therefore, t is the total time for it to come out of this electric field. So that is 2t will be equal to 2 into v0 into sine of theta 0 divided by a. And finally, I write down an expression for the range r. So the range r is nothing but the distance that it travels in the x direction. The velocity which is there in the x direction is v0 into cos of theta 0. So this is basically the velocity component that goes unaltered throughout v0 into cos of theta 0. And this will be multiplied by the net time that is taken that is right from here to here which is nothing but 2t. So that I multiplied by 2 into v0 into sine of theta 0 divided by a and which finally turns out to 2 into v0 square cos of theta 0 sine of theta 0 upon a. This entire thing will be upon your a. r is equal to 2 into v0 square into sine of theta 0 into cos of theta 0. This entire thing divided by a and therefore your r is going to be equal to v0 square into sine of 2 theta 0 upon a and this is the final expression for the range of an electron that is injected at an angle theta with respect to the electric field. So we have found out the expression for the height, we have found out the expression for the range, we have found out the expression for the total time for this particular case wherein the electron makes a certain angle theta with respect to the electric field. Since you thank students for watching this particular video, stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe to Ikeda. Thanks a lot.